The Logitech G502 Hero is one of the best selling mice of all time. So why is everyone buying it? I've been using the G502 Hero for a few weeks now, and I originally bought this at Sam's Club for $49.98, which includes the mouse, some weights, and a really awful mouse pad. And I need another mouse pad like I need another <laughs> hole in my head. So Logitech is known for making amazing mice and keyboards. So the question is, is the G502 Hero amazing or not? So first we'll talk about the good stuff, and then we'll talk about the not so good stuff. First, setup could not be any easier. I plugged the mouse into the PC and the PC recognized it right away. And I was able to use the mouse right away as well. I also had no issues installing the G-Hub software. That software controls all the mouse settings and customization. So first, this mouse weighs 121 grams, which is pretty heavy, but in my large hands, it feels pretty smooth. If you have smaller hands and prefer a lighter mouse, you may want to consider the G Pro instead. The G502 Hero is super comfortable and has an ergonomic design. One of the most important things about a gaming mouse is the buttons. And these buttons are very responsive and have fantastic click latency, which is a must for CSGO. I'm sorry. And trust me, I need all the help that I can get. And the thumb position is especially comfortable. There are 11 buttons plus the wheel and even two RGB lights, all of which can be programmed and customized using the G-Hub software. And customization includes the buttons, DPI, and even the lights. If you decide not to install the G-Hub software, you'll be stuck with all the default settings. The G502 is pretty responsive for a heavier mouse, and I set my DPI to 2450. It's a nice balance for gaming as well as video editing. Adding weights to this mouse couldn't be any easier. Unstamp the magnetic bottom, then add some weights, and then stamp it back in. Easy. But for me, I don't need the weights. This mouse is heavy enough. The G-Hub software is pretty decent. You have three screens, you have the DPI, buttons, and you have your light sync. As you can see, I sync my mouse lights with my computer lights. Pretty cool. So now we'll talk about the things that I don't like. And first off is the wheel. The wheel feels hyper responsive, too fast, and almost out of control. If you change the settings to the click settings for the scroll wheel, it's much slower, but less responsive. It's got that old school feel. Also, the mouse does not come with a braided cord. It has a typical thin cord. It's not a big deal to me, but some people prefer the braided cord. While it is technically true, there are 11 customizable buttons. Half of the buttons make no sense to change almost ever. And to be honest, I rarely change the buttons, only for special gaming situations. Also, there are three buttons by the thumb position, and that could become an issue if you accidentally hit one while gaming, so be aware. And lastly, remember, if you decide not to download the G-Hub software, you're stuck with the default settings. That means DPI, color, and buttons. Now, would I recommend the G502 Hero? Yes and no. If you have large hands like I do and prefer a heavier mouse, then I absolutely recommend it. However, if you have smaller hands and prefer a lighter mouse, you may want to take a look at the G Pro. The G502 Hero is available on Amazon for $39.98 and has over 49,000 reviews and most are four or five stars. You can also get this package at Sam's Club that includes the mouse pad for $49.98. But FYI, the mouse pad sucks. But either way, the G502 Hero is a solid gaming and productivity mouse. You can't go wrong. And of course, all product links will be listed below. And guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.